Hi, and welcome to day three of March Maskness. So today is just me and Bandit because Chloe doesn't like um, this particular segment where I, we call it trash talk. It's where I go over some of my empties. And I've got a lot here because it's been a minute since I've done a Mask Monday. So this might have to get separated into two parts. All right, so I chose my Jeffree Star um, Skin Tranquility Face Mask, and I did get this in a mystery bundle, and Robin over at Robin's Closet says it is one of her favorites, so I was pretty excited to get it. It does... Are you okay, buddy? Um, okay. I don't know where I was. The bandit was just making a little scary noise there. A little paw hurt. So, um, so anyway, it does come with some spatula. That's magnetic, so I can't lose it. All right, so we're going to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. Then I'll rinse it off, and I'll come back and tell you all how I like it. So it is purple. And smells of lavender. So if you don't like lavender, this would definitely not be a good mask for you. Now I have, you know, you know, I have face brushes for this, right? Do I know where they are right now? No, I think they might be at my mom's actually. So let's get right into it. Um, this wishful yo glow um, I loved this. So this is like an enzyme um, kind of scrub or peel. And it just kind of like gets that little bit of layer of whatever off your face it felt like. It smells like the ocean. And I just love the way my face felt after this. I think I have another one hanging around, which I just found. So I was excited about that. Um, the Milkshake Color Care Shampoo and Conditioner. I, there was nothing special about it. It smelled great, though. It smelled like a vanilla milkshake. Did it do anything special for my hair? No, not really. I, I didn't notice any difference. Um, it's not an expensive brand, though, so, I mean, it wasn't bad. Just, I don't know, shampoo and conditioner. The U Beauty Resurfacing Compound. I used this as a serum. It was kind of like a brownish color. It didn't have a scent. I mean, it was fine. There's nothing special about it. It's very expensive. I don't know. I expected to look like 15 years younger when I was done with it, but no. no it was all right. 111 Skin. This is the Antioxidant oxidant Energizing Essence. I use this as a toner. Smells really nice. Um, very kind of light scent. Not florally, just kind of florally, just clean. But it also my face just felt really kind of fresh afterwards. The R & Co. Balloon Dry Volume Spray. I liked this a lot. Um, I was sad when it was gone, and I have not found a replacement for it. Um, it gave like some nice volume without that heavy feel because I have very fine, thin hair, so I just have to be careful of that. The Wishful Clean Genie. This was kind of like a greenish color. I'm trying to see it. It had a nice scent to it, and it got off my makeup very well. Got off any kind of mascara I put on perfectly. No panda eyes after, so I liked that. The Ren Clean Care Perfect Canvas Clean Jelly Oil Cleanser. Now, I don't know if this went bad on me, because I had opened it up. I'd forgotten about it. Um after my mom's shower renovation. And then I came across it some point after, some several months later, and tried to use it again. And it smelled really, really bad. So I could, I mean, this still has a lot of product in it, but I just couldn't bear to use it because it just had such a bad smell to it. But that could have been because it went bad. So I don't know if you guys have used this before. Do you think it had a bad smell? Um, I, I don't know. I don't recall, I don't recall feeling it was my favorite product beforehand, and it might have been a smell issue. 
Okay, the Southern Fleek Bath, I think that's what this says. This was a, um, a sugar scrub, yes, Southern Fleek Bath, Bath Sugar Scrub. This was like in a cantaloupe and melon, and um, it smelled amazing. It felt amazing going on. I loved it. I got this from, um, oh, I can still smell it on here. Um, Fruit for Thought. Loved it. Loved it. I think you can find them on Etsy. The Saturday Skin um, Eye Cream. This is their, I think it's a Yuzu eye cream. Um, anyway, I liked it. I mean, it was a nice eye cream. It wasn't anything special, though. I mean, it, it was a nice eye cream. It had, it was thick, and I do like a thick eye cream. So I like that about it. Um, the Creme Shop Printed Essence Sheet Mask. This is the, um, Pumpkin Spice Limited Edition. It has pumpkin seed oil for firming. Squalane for moisturizing and lactic acid, which is youth performing. I like this. It was just super cute. First of all, it was super cute because it was printed. Um, little, these little guys on there. Um, I don't think it really smelled like pumpkin, but I like the feel of it on. Um, the Gloss Modern Clean Luxury Hair Mask. I got this in FabFitFun. I absolutely loved it. I do have a backup one somewhere. Love this. My hair felt very soft afterwards. Um, this was more of a food product, but the Klee Cotton Candy Glitter Bomb Beverage Puff. I got this in Fruit for Thought. It was so delicious and so fun. It was like glitter that came out of it. You can purchase from them. They do have an online shop. If you find them on Instagram, Klee, C-L-E, Cotton Candy, you'll find their website. It is very pricey, though. I will tell you that. But they have all kinds of fun flavors of cotton candy if you're into that. The OC Atmospheric Protection Cream. I really liked this. Um, it had like this nice kind of oceany scent. But it also just felt very nice going on. And it was thin. So it didn't like pill up under my makeup. The Perlice Watermelon and Charcoal Purifying Cleanser. Um, I have just gone through my second one of this. I love this cleanser. I think it's a great cleanser. It smells great. Your face feels very clean afterwards. Love this. The Amica, the Cure Bond Repair Conditioner. I'm actually still working on the shampoo, uh, but I do go through conditioner much more quickly. I think most of us do. I don't know why. Shampoo should probably be bigger than the conditioner. I mean, conditioner should probably be bigger than the shampoo. What you smelling? Oh, he's smelling me. Um, but I like this. I think my hair felt very nice afterwards. The Glam Glow Youth Potion Peptide Serum. I thought this was nice. Um, yeah, I didn't, I don't have a particular feeling about it. I don't know. I mean, it was a light serum. Um, I think it kind of had like a, a color to it maybe. I can't get another drop out. I used every drop of it. So there's that. Um, I did like it. Um, there's just other ones I liked better. Oh, the Milk Rise Mascara. Um, I haven't had this for very long. I haven't used it for very long. And I don't think I've had it open for more than three months. And it's already all clumpy and yucky. So, um... So I'm not a fan of this. Would not recommend. Um, the Skin Vita uh, Naranji Marigold Toner. I got this in TheraBox and it was nice. It had a nice light scent, but what I really liked about it was the spray. But what I hated about it was this. This is the pump. This is the bottle. So, screwed all the way down. It still doesn't go to the bottom. So, the pump was only so useful. So, I did not care for that piece of it. It was a nice toner, but it, there was a malfunction here with that. Oh, come on. It comes to 
right here. And you got all this product. Thank you for that. Um, oh, the Rodeo Instant Lifting Serum Pink Diamond. Um, I'm not going to say it was instantly lifting, but it was nice and light. Um, nothing pilled up. I could put on almost any face cream under over top of it and didn't notice any kind of pilling. So it was a very nice one. Instant lifting? I don't think so. Um, the Hypernova Eye Serum. I got this, I want to say, in FabFitFun. It had like this weird kind of mechanism where you had to kind of push down to get it out. Um, I don't think it was anything special. I don't know. There's nothing wrong with it. It just wasn't like, you know, didn't really tighten. Um, the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment. This had like this little pump so that you could kind of just put it right on, you know. Um, I liked this. I actually felt like this was probably one of the better eye serums that I've used in, as far as noticing some difference after noticing a little bit of tightening, a um, little bit of smoothing out of those fine lines and wrinkles. So this I would highly recommend. I really liked it. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Mascara. Um, I definitely got my money's worth out of this. I mean, I usually have so many mascaras going. I almost never can use one up, but I really like this. This is a great mascara. Very lengthening. Loved it. It's got, it's got more of a fat, yeah. It's got like a, that kind of wand, which kind of is almost hourglass shaped. But it was a nice mascara. I don't know that I would repurchase it, but if I got it again, I wouldn't be mad. The Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. As you can see, I used up every last drop of this. Um, I mean, I got that spatty in there. It got every little bit out. That's how much I liked it. Love, love, love this. You wake up and your face just feels nice and soft. And it has like this just very fresh, not sugary, but just a fresh like watermelon scent. Love the Glow Recipe products. I don't feel like you can go wrong. Probably my favorite eye cream is their avocado retinol eye milk that I use at night. Um, by way, this is that scrub that you can use on your hair or on your body. Um, it was all right. It's it's no Christoph Robin. If you've ever used the Christoph Robin um, sh scalp scrub, that is like the holy grail because it foams up, it feels good, it all feels like it's come out. You don't feel like there's any residue. This was okay. I used it more on my body, to be honest with you. I just didn't feel like it did much for the hair. Um, the Dr. Brandt Do Not Age Triple Peptide Eye Cream. This was a nice eye cream. Um, it did its job. I, you know, I mean, it's an eye cream. Um, I like the thicker one, so it was a little bit on the thicker side. Um, the Rodeal Pink Diamond Cleansing Balm. When I first got this, I didn't like it because it was like all the product was in there and you couldn't get it out. It You kind of had to like work into it to warm it up a little bit. And then after your first three or four uses, it came out like a dream. Um, it did a great job getting off mascara. That's kind of like if I'm using a cleansing balm, my biggest concern is the eye area, the mascara, the eyeliner. Can I get that off? Do I get out of the shower and still have panda eyes? Not with this. This did a good job. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury eye cream. I got this from Influencer. I used up every drop of it. It's a nice thick one, which I do like. And I always feel like the thick ones just kind of do a little bit more smoothing for me. Would I get that one again? Yes, I would get that one again. I wouldn't pay $60 for it, but I will be happy to get it. Um, the Holly Frog Superior Omega Nutritive Gel Wash. Um, this was a nice face cleanser. Nothing special about it. Um, I had originally picked picked this out because the um, the owners of it one lives uh, one is from Michigan and the other is from Canada. And I guess 
the space in between kind of a shape like a frog. So, um, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm thinking it's holly frog because I can't remember where she was from in Michigan, but I know there's a holly. So, um, I don't know, but it could be holy frog. I don't know. Um, the Wishful Thirst Trapped Juice. This is another serum. Um, this was a hyaluronic acid and peptide serum, it looks like, from what I'm reading. Yes. Um, beautiful bottle. I think this was a nice serum. It had a light scent to it. Um, I can't remember what the scent was. Let's see. It's very, very light. It was a very light scent. Most of the Wishful products, I will tell you, are heavily scented. This, I think, was a light one. Um, and I liked the way it went on. It stayed on. Um, it, you know, my skin felt good at the end of the day. Um, it, makeup didn't pill over it, so I did like this. Here is that eye cream that I love by Glow Recipe. This is the avocado retinol one. I believe this is still available. I think I just saw it at the Sephora inside of Kohl's. Um, smells fresh and clean. It's nice and thick. You know, I like a thick eye cream. Um, I think it does a nice job. I think the retinol in here is a good kind of balance out. Uh, the MZ Skin Eye Cream. This was okay. I mean... I don't know. I think I, I think I got it for like twelve dollars from Ipsy. I think the overall price tag was some kind of crazy hundred and three dollars. Um, I probably wouldn't get it again. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It just wasn't. I didn't feel like I noticed much of a difference. All right, we have the juice cleanse by. Nanaka. This was um, Epsom salt and fragrance oil. And you put it in the bath. And it smelled really nice. It felt good too. All right. By um, Glow Recipe, the Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. Now, for some reason, I thought this was a night cream. I don't know that it is, though. Um, but I used it at night, and I really liked it, and it smells like bananas. The Moroccan Gold Salt-Free Shampoo Intense Care for Dry and Damaged Hair. I didn't care for this. Um, kind of had a salty smell. I don't know. I didn't really care for it. The Saturday Skin 10% Glycolic Acid and Pore Control Complex. This, when you put it on, well, you knew you put it on. It stung. Mm. But I used every last drop of it, but it stung. Um, the Way Hair Care Texturizing Hairspray. I did like this. I thought this did a nice job. I was a fan of this particular Way product. Trifle Cosmetics Sugar Pear Lip Scrub. I liked this, but you couldn't get out the right amount. Like, it would just give you a ton or a little droplet. So, like, getting the right amount of product out seemed difficult to me. Um, let's see. This had a conditioner, but this is the Muru, Muru by Ecos um, shampoo i did not like this my hair just felt dry unmanageable afterwards my husband however who has very different hair than i do loved it thought his hair felt wonderful after um shampoo and conditioner um this is the purem um it's a toner it's all right nothing special The Wildcat Orchid Stem Cell and Magnolia Berry Adaptogen Eye Cream. This actually had no scent, even though, like you would think it would, by Orchid and, you know, Magnolia Berry. 
it was all right. It wasn't as thick as I like them. Um, I don't know. I just feel like the thick ones work better for me. Maybe they're like filling in. I don't know. Bumble and Bumble Surf Foam Shampoo Wash. It was nice. It smelled nice. Um, it's supposed to be for curls. It didn't really do much for mine. I kind of have like that little wave that kind of starts about here and always just looks like you haven't brushed your hair. So I was looking for something to kind of make it look a little nicer because either I wear it curly or I straighten it out. But if I wear it curly, um, most times it just looks unbrushed. So, you know, I was, I was trying and yes, I've tried the curly girl method and I can't go that long without washing my hair. I have fine thin hair and after a day it's, it's bad. So, um, all right, by OC, this is the Ocean Cleanser. I adored this. I love that it smelled like the ocean. I loved how my face felt afterwards. Um, the H2O Hydration um, Gel Cleanser. It was all right. Nothing fancy. Um, this was the Holy Grail in my house forever. The Nelson Beverly Hills Moisture Healing Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the conditioner. Um, it's a little heavy for my hair, but my daughter loved it. Um, I did get it in refills, refills for a while with, um, FabFitFun, but, um, then she just kind of felt like her hair was a little bit heavy. So I think you do have to switch this out or be using a, um, clarifying shampoo, which she doesn't do, um, because it's a nice shampoo and conditioner but it will start to weigh down your hair, I think. All right, the Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip. This is a cleanser. Um, I, I wasn't crazy about it. I don't know. I don't feel like, I mean, it, it got my face clean, but I don't know. I had used their cleansing balm, like their Blue Moon, I think it was called cleansing balm and I adored that like that did a really nice job with getting all your makeup off this I mean it cleans your face but it kind of had I guess a funny smell it hasn't even been used it must have fallen in there put that aside all right the mm, it doesn't smell good let me get back in there this is the um jelly pong pong cosmetics rosebud lips um and from what I put on my finger, it's just kind of like a like a gel type, Vaseline gel, but a little bit more watery. But I think this is spoiled, so, um, because it doesn't smell good. The Gold Fadden MD Bright Eyes. This is, um, an eye cream. And I don't know, for what Gold Fadden goes for, I don't know. I kind of felt like it would be a little bit more something. I don't know. The Milk Kush Mascara, this lasted a little longer than the other one. I actually had this for a good six months. Um, I liked it. Did it give you wow lashes? No, it gave me nice lashes. It didn't give the wow. The Sephora Smooth and Blur, this is um, like a primer and I got this so many times, I figured the universe must be telling me to try it. I actually liked it. Um, this is like $12 full size, so it's not a bad price. It is a little bit thinner than the Benefit Professional, but it is along that lines, and I do like the blurring primers, so I did like this. The Sunday Riley Five Stars Eye Cream. This I did like. I was a big fan of this. Um, it does have that kind of mechanism to go out. There's like oh, a little bit left. It's a little bit more watery than I typically like it, but, um, but it did a good job. The Tony Moly Moisture Boost Gel to Water Morning Cleanser. I did like this. I felt like, um, I like the way it foamed up. I do like the Tony Moly products. 
And then the last thing in here is by Estate. This is a black eyeliner. And it was, um, it did do a nice job. It did, oops, see, it's kind of run out. Like I had to really kind of go in there to get that. Um, did good job lasting without smudging. And um, yeah, I, I like that. All right, so that's my trash. And um, let me know your thoughts. Did I, was that a favorite product? I didn't show you the Ahoy Love by Earth Harbor. I didn't mean to put that in here. It's probably still sitting in my purse. That was the, the one Earth Harbor product I really didn't like. It didn't have a great smell. And it did a terrible job with getting mascara off. Like anytime I used it, I get out of the shower with panda eyes. So um, unfortunately, that is the one Earth Harbor product that I would not recommend. The other product I would say use with caution would be their, um, they have an eye cream. And it has a very strong scent to it. So that close to your eyes, it does, um, it, it can make them tear, particularly if you have sensitive eyes. I do. Um, it, I did have a lot of tearing with it, so I had to stop using it on my eyes. I used it in other areas, um, like on the backs of my hands, on my elbows, and it was perfectly fine. And it's not that I didn't like the smell. It was just too, it was almost like it was like fuming into my eyes or something. I don't know. It just really set them off. Okay, I'm going to go wash this off. I will be right back. And I'll let you know my thoughts on something I'm currently using. Okay, so thoughts. One, it did not really make my rosacea react, which I do like. Um, a lot of times when I take a mask off like that, um, any kind of mask that's more of a leave-on, not a sheet mask. Um, it tends to make my rosacea react. It didn't. Uh, my skin feels very, very soft though. So I do like that. So I would say this is a nice, a nice one if you like the scent of lavender. It's not a heavy, like it didn't bother my eyes. Um, there was no stinging in my eyes or anything from it. It did have a light lavender scent and some people just really hate lavender. Hair in my eye. Um, if you're one of those people, then you won't like that. If you don't mind lavender, as long as it's not too strong, then you might like this. Like I said, it didn't react with my eyes and it didn't, um, it didn't make my rosacea react, which is nice because now I don't have to spend five minutes cooling it down. All right. Well, um, don't forget to read the rules below about the giveaway. Um, seven days of masks, one lucky winner, each channel, um, no repeats. So in other words, you can't win on my channel and on somebody else's channel, but you have a lot of opportunities to win. Each day, I'm going to take a day of the, day one, day two, day three, and so on, put it on the um, wheel picker, pick one day, and then pick a comment from there. Make sure that you write down, I am subbed to all. That's what I'm going to be looking for to confirm that you were subbed to everybody in the collab. And um, yeah, all the rest of the rules are going to be down below. So make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you know if you're my lucky winner. And hopefully, I'll see you soon.